Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys like that intro. I'm trying to do something new for y'all. So getting right into this tutorial, I'm going to go in with this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Going in with that rusty, corally kind of color, I'm just going to keep applying that to my lid until I get my desired um, my desired color payoff. So I just keep applying, blending it out, and applying and blending it. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. It is going to be a powder before foundation wear test. So yeah, and I even tried it on one of the hottest days that I decided to put makeup on. I don't know why. <laughs> Another thing I don't know why I did, it was put this yellow, um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't really yeah, show up after I blended it out, but I just applied that yellow to the outer corners of my eye. I, um, of course, blended that out and it disappeared. <laughs> so going in with this Clara or Clara Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, I went in with that pink shimmery color and just applied that right on top of my lid for some shimmer and shine just so my eyeshadow looked like something. Okay, so I'm finished up with this eyeshadow look. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that Bobbi Brown highlighting powder and a beautiful, beautiful bronze? No, bronze glow. Bronze glow. And then put some Insta Curl Lash Mascara on by MAC and plopped on some lashes. So I went in with the lashes by Ardell and applied those. Um, before I put on that Makeup Forever Step one smoothing primer. I did prep my face with some Cetaphil lotion and also sprayed it with some um, Mario Badescu facial spray. So the powder before the foundation. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Apply this all on my face everywhere and yeah, just get real mattified. And it honestly, I'm not gonna lie, you guys are gonna see at the end of this video, the powder before foundation really kind of held up, you guys. Can't lie at all. So going in with my regular routine, I'm gonna go in with that LA Girl Pro in beautiful bronze, color correct under my eyes, my nose, and any dark spots or blemishes on my face. Um, then I'm gonna go in with my MAC foundation in NW50, apply that, and just blend that all out. I was honestly some very surprised and shocked how well my makeup did, um, you know, it held up throughout the day. Cause you guys, when I say I was sweating my ball sacks off, I was sweating so bad. So going in with this NARS concealer in Amand or Amande, however we're going to pronounce that today. Um, I'm going to place that on the high points of my face, under my eyes, my nose, bridge of my nose, and my chin. Also, I'm going to go in with this Sasha Butter, Sasha Buttercup, <laughs> this Anastasia concealer and just apply that a little bit just to give myself a tad bit of an extra highlight. So I blend out my chin, my nose, and my forehead first. I'm going to let my concealer under my eyes sit for just a little minute. And after that, I'm going to blend it out. I really like leaving my concealer under my eyes and let, well not leaving it, but letting it sit there and get a little tacky and dry because once I'm done, you know, blending it out, it's just this seamless and flawless concealer application that I just really love. And it just stays exactly where you put it after you do that. So setting this, I'm going to go back in with that Sasha Buttercup setting powder and just set the places that I concealed. I'm not going to lie, I thought I was going to be real ashy, real dry, real matte because I applied powder under my foundation and then applied more powder on top of my foundation, but it honestly all worked out perfectly. You'll see at the end of the video, like I said, but it really worked out pretty well. 
I might end up trying this um, powder under foundation routine again because it really did hold up and I liked how I looked at the end of the day. So just to contour, I'm going in with that Black Radiance True Complexion um, palette. Gonna chisel out my cheeks, my forehead, and whatever's left over. I apply that on my nose. Going to blend everything out with this flat top brush and chisel out these cheeks next. Okay, to set my face, I'm going in with this NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I'm going to apply that everywhere. I may drench myself and I may not drench myself, but you know I'm going to drench myself. <laughs> so more setting spray the merrier. So I went in with that Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder and also my MAC, uh, what is it? Mineralized Skin Finish and Gold Deposit and I apply that on my cheeks and my nose. I'm finishing off this eye look just by applying those same colors that I applied on top of my lid. I'm gonna just do that. After that, I set my face with my MAC Studio Fix um, Powder in NW50. I set my face one more time just to be on the safe side with that Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So now let's get into this vlog, see how this wear test went about, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Hello my beautiful peoples, today is Saturday, what's today's date y'all, y'all don't know? Today is August the 11th and we are at the Be Out event for FAMU, we are at Central Park you guys, when I say I am burning up hot, but I'm burning up hot. So as you guys see in the first part of this clip, I'm doing a wear test on doing powder before foundation, so we're going to see how that turns out. Hopefully, um, I don't have to, uh, hopefully I don't have to, um, you know, blot as many times, but you guys, it's hot. So that's why I wanted to test out this theory, so we're going to see. So I also untwisted these twists, so you guys see how this has turned out. I'm enjoying it, but you guys, when I say it's hot, it is hot. We At least we have our own tent and chairs and tables, so we're good. So, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, what's the face? Uh, All you gotta do is call on that. I just whooped some ass on spades. Yeah, we whooped them, dog. Yo, we up. TJ, you gonna say hi to the vloggy vlog? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Follow me, T underscore Brad. Oh, wait, wait, let me go back. Go ahead. Fam, you alone? D land, ew. Florida, Central Florida, you know what it is. Okay, so what's your Instagram again, TJ? T underscore Brad09. All right, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, you guys. You wanna shut yourself out? You know, my name is Antoine. I went to University of Central Florida. Okay, but we're fam, you all day. Okay. Damn, all right. I yeah. will see y'all, fam. Fine. Okay. So what? You get it. All right. Yeah, that's it. I, I don't want to say that. Hey. You gonna shut yourself out? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Shame, I know we need some light on your ass. Showtime. Wait, 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 wait. We need some light. Showtime. Okay. What my makeup at? You know, give me oh, right I, I got camera, you. Know? I got you. I'm sorry. It's just me. Chris. It's just, it's just Chris. Middle of Florida. Middle of Florida. Middle of Florida. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. you need some shade. Oh, All the shade you feel good. Okay, so what we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's bust move. Shit, say no more. I thought we were. Oh, no, no, man. I ain't know that part made it to the world. Oh, yeah, I got a shout out to the girl. I mean, shout out to the girl. I got to say her, tell her hi. What's her name? Girl, I like Courtney. Courtney. Who's running? Roundings. Yeah, we got a new activity for y'all this time around. We're bringing we call this activity the car wash. The car wash. You guys, it is burning hot out here. And I can't do this. But we're going to test this foundation theory. So that's why I did it on this day. But yeah. So they have like food vendors over there on the other side. You guys can't see it probably, but they're on the other side of where those tents are. It's a lot of people. I actually do know a lot of people out here. There's some Alpha Z brothers that I know, my Kappa brothers. So I saw them. I may probably go back over there later on, but yeah. But yeah, you guys, it's hot as fuck. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, so I just I want to get the light on. 
Are you dark right now? Yeah, hold on. I, I had the lighting right at first. Let me see. All right, all right. I'm going to get you hooked up. Yeah, I'm going to hit me with the whatever, whatever. The doc, you know what I'm saying? This recording still? Yes. All right, I'm recording. All right, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, look. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, listen. I'm going to adjust this and really talk to you guys about uh, just life right now. Uh, talk about how it's live out here. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm with, you know, T and Chris and Paris. And basically, you know, we're just kind of having a good time. We're drinking. Um, I'm drinking. Today, today I don't want to drink too much. You know, T's on the second or third cup. Uh, and I, I don't really want to talk about... Uh, all the nuances like that went on, right? But I do want to say this: um, it is hot outside, and if you drink Patron when it's hot, it, it hurts a lot. It does. Like uh, jet fuel. Well, jet fuel, like as some would say. So today, I just really want to say to you guys uh, there you go, that we're enjoying our, enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Uh, you know, just really, just really vibing, right? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, you know, that's all I got. I'll check back in later. Anybody else want to say anything? We'll put it on. I mean, all right. Uh, so that's T. All right, you want to say anything? Phil, you look at that straight from Africa. Uh, they they flew that in and they boom. All right, uh -uh, he done saying what he had to say. Harris, do you want to say anything to the camera? You want to talk about how your day be going? Huh? Hey, this recording? Oh, this recording. Talk to it. Talk! Say something. Say something. Oh. Alright, we had a little bit happening. Alright, we're going back. Alright. Hey. Hey, don't. Okay. Oh, Alright, hold on. He, he, didn't, he didn't mean that. Alright. Alright, let us know your favorite thing to do. Okay. My favorite thing to do? Yeah. We're right now working on this mixtape. Okay. It's going to be like three and a half tracks. Okay. So the other one is just going to be a hook. Like two hooks. Uh, uh, I, you never seen that though. No, nah, that one. Well, so this is like EP or? I mean, or this. I mean, because it's. It's like a DP. Oh, uh, well, I mean. FP. FP. Oh. FP. Okay. All right. Then. No, not, matter of fact, an HP, like a half of a project. Okay. Okay. So HP coming. Yeah. HP uh, coming. You gonna release it halfway like that? It's gonna. Right. I'm gonna release a song. One song over the next three years. Okay. So. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So. So. so I, you know, three and a half. That's about all right. All right. We gotta go. Yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. Everybody, we got Roland right here. Roland. 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 Roland
R O. Bro Land. Bro Land. You hear me? Yeah. All right, let's hear some. Play it. Play it. What's your song called? Come outside. Come outside. So you like? Oh, so NBA young boy say he going outside. He got that song. I like NBA young boy going outside. Everybody, we got Bro Lash right here. You about to rap for y'all. Y'all ignoring him. Y'all being rude right now. You feel me? Really? Yeah. He a rapper. His name is Bro Lash. And you on the phone. Talking about the blue tent. And all these blue tents are her. A million blue tents. Oh, wait. We, okay. We, okay. Uh, Everyone got that 40 on all of them. Come on, son. Mighty Bushy Bush. That's how I feel. Come on, son. You have to turn the light on. of being in the sun, being out and about. So I am here to tell you guys about how I feel about the powder under foundation thing. Um, so I finished my makeup at 12 o'clock p.m. this afternoon. It is now 12 o'clock a.m. the next day, basically, and your girl is tired. I've been in the sun. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog that I put in this video as well, just so you guys could see what I um, what I did today. I am exhausted. I'm ready to take off these lashes and take this makeup off. Makeup off. But um, so my thoughts on this powder under foundation um you know routine i do like it i will say that my foundation is still you know intact still looks good it does not look like i am too dry or too oily i did have to um like touch up and put some powder on um you can see my bags a little bit more the fine they're really like this right now because you girl like i said i'm tired it's been a long day in the sun like the sun a real deal has beat me down um smile lines are still good you can see some and i am oily in these spots but i feel like a good dab will get that away so like after dabbing that away it doesn't look as bad but i'm not gonna lie i know my forehead has probably lost a lot of um foundation because i was sweating so much but i really do um but i did enjoy it a lot I'm ready to get a nice hot shower, um, take everything off and unwind finally. So hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog with a little bit of makeup, with a little bit of outing, stuff like that. <laughs> Let me know if you guys wanna see more of these videos by giving this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay black, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. Bye, you guys.